CataractCoach.com, recovering from Argentinian flag sign. Watch these two surgeons do a great job finishing the case. And this has happened to all of us. So our first case here, we have Dr. Abhinav Agrawal from India. He's got a white cataract here, intumescent, making some paras, putting the tripan blue dye. There's the main incision. There's the viscoelastic. And now let's see, starting it, and it rips, just like that. Ooh, hey, this happened to all of us. It's probably a young patient, very intermittent, very pressurized bag. Now, we've talked about so many different ways of doing this. We've talked about how to depressurize the capsular bag. We've talked about a YAG laser. We've talked about phacopuncture. We've talked about zepto and femto, needle decompression. All these things we've talked about. And again, they can definitely help if you do some of these techniques here. But I have not found one that's 100% perfect just yet. So, with that said, you can see here, cutting now the capsule edge there after decompressing the bag more now. That's good. Using the micro forceps there, creating something of a nice round capsule opening. Go on the other side as well. Now, remember, back in the day, before capsular rexus, I know it sounds crazy, but there was a time before capsular rexus, people did what were called can opener capsulotomies, meaning they just get a sharp needle assisted tome and poke and 20 times or 30 times in a circular pattern, like using a sharp device to open a can, a can opener. And so here now the surgeon doing a good chop technique, obviously a very experienced surgeon doing a beautiful job here. But remember with the can opener techniques, the patient did fine. Why? Well, because if you have 20 different points of capsular runout, well, then you don't put a ton of pressure on any one spot. Instead, what you do is you distribute it evenly among all the run-out areas, and it tends not to run out then. That's the magic of it. But in a case like this where there are just two run-out areas, it's a lot tougher. Now, again, here, surgeon's going to load up the lens, put the lens in. You can definitely still put the lens in the capture bag. So here's taking out the cortex, cleaning it up. I like the bimanual approach here. may make it a little bit easier to do. And once that's done, we'll get that lens in the capture bag, and the patient will still have an amazing outcome. Just remember, patients start off with no vision and most kind of like hand motion, or maybe if you move your hand fast enough, wind perception vision, maybe light perception vision, and now the patient's going to have fine. The vision will be fine. It'll be great. So there he is. I want the capsule bag, and you get at least those two leaflets of the enter capsule covering the optic edge. And again, the patient's going to do great. Just make sure both haptics are definitely in the capsule bag. And in this case, they certainly look like it. So everything looks good here. Again, beautiful case. Well, as we finish this one up, let me tell you about retinarounds.com, our favorite sister channel. It is the one where you're going to thank me later because you're going to learn so much great stuff. Even if you're a cattle surgeon like me, I promise it's still great learning and things that are so important for all of us to know. Now, case number two, we've got Dr. Connor Nix here from the USA. You can see starting off here making a uh, conventile cut down, maybe doing a little sub tenons block there. Here comes a para, tripan blue dye, and now visco, no, washing it out first, and now viscoelastic. So no main incision just yet, getting that highly pressure. Okay, here comes the main incision, and now... Uh, again, yeah, stay tuned, by the way, this week. I've got an, another fun video with Dr. Ariel Blanco. I'll explain more, the Blanco puncture technique. So here you can see the exact same met pattern. Look at that pattern shape, the shape of it, just like the first case, right? Just like it's happened to me and you too. And so that just means that's a very pressurized capsular bag. And when we poke it there in the center, that's kind of the forces of the physics where it wants to run out. So again, here, getting that, grabbing that capsule, getting it creating a round opening here. There we go. So very similar to the first case. You know, we get 50 or 60 videos sent to us a week for Cataract Coach. We watch all of them. If you want to send your video, go to cataractcoach.com, the website. Leave YouTube, leave Insta for a second, and go check it out. And there are full instructions there. Follow the instructions closely. If you don't, you we're just not going to watch your video. So now here you're coming in with a nice chop technique, horizontal chop in this case. And then let's see, buzz in with the Faco probe, and the chopper goes, beautiful, beautiful. Clearly an experienced surgeon here doing a great job taking these pieces out. So again, for the lens placement, eyewall placement, what are you going to do? Probably about the same thing, right? That probably makes the most sense. For the, for the eyewall placement, you can still only get in the capsule bag. I don't think you need a sulcus lens on these. There's a nice chop technique there, beautifully done. That's very nice. So taking these pieces down nice and easy. And again, these patients are very thankful and very happy because, I mean, what was the pre-op vision? Always remember this. It's the delta, the before versus after difference, which makes what the patient really notice, right? And they start off with almost no vision, then anything's an improvement. You could do an anterior vitrectomy, put an AC IOL right here, and give them a little bit of chronic macular edema and 20 out of 70 vision, and the patient will say, thank you, doctor. It's so much better than before. Well... That's the hope, at least, right? <laughs> but in this case, I think the patient can achieve totally a normal outcome. So you got to clean up here with the bimanual IA. They're just filling the capsular bag with your viscoelastic. And now delivering the lens here. 
And uh, there we go. Nicely done. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Is this a resident case? Where's the, well, who's, who's squirting the cannula? And why is the cannula so close? Because in my case, when my scrub tank squirts the cannula, it's just kind of farther away from the, they, yeah, that's a little bit of an instruct. Connor, next, did you, are you a resident? Or are you like a, a trained? That's fantastic. If you are, you're doing great. I mean, the skill set here is fantastic. I would have thought you're in prior practice. Fantastic job here. Now, definitely, I like that check at the end, making sure the haptics are in, this, in the uh, capsular bag by lifting the iris. That's fantastic. Hydrating up the incision. And then there we go. Lens looks pretty good. Hey, how do you deal with the Argentinian flag sign? Comment below and stay tuned this week. You're going to learn from Dr. Ariel Blanco's technique of Blanco puncture. I'll tell you more. Check it out. Stay tuned. And remember, randomrounds.com, your favorite. Plus, submit your video for me on cataractcoach.com.